Every year or so, there's a new study put out by psychologists. It's telling us another reason why I shouldn't bother debunking pseudoscience. I mean, not me in particular, although I'm sure many of you can already think of several good reasons. No, I mean, studies like the ones that show that debunking pseudoscience only makes people dig their heels in harder, or years later, people come away remembering the myth, but not the debunking. With all of that bad news, it can be hard to know what the hell to actually do about all of the fake news flying around. And I mean, real fake news, actual fake news, not whatever Donald Trump thinks shouldn't be true. A new study published in the journal Psychological Science uh, really helps us out a bit, um, especially considering that this isn't a single study, but actually a meta-analysis of a lot of previous research that allows us to sort through our options. They looked at 20 different experiments involving 7,000 people in total. The analysis did confirm some of the pessimistic research. Yes, it is possible to strengthen misinformation by attempting to debunk it. That happens most often when you just come out and say that a piece of misinformation is wrong without explaining why or even just offering a very quick explanation. That bit was a little counterintuitive to me. I've always struggled to try to present corrections as simply and concisely as possible, even if that means that I'm leaving out some details. This research suggests that the details really matter. You convince more people to change their minds and reject misinformation when you give them adequate reasons to do so. Even then, you have to accept that you're not going to change everyone's mind. Not everyone's going to be convinced to drop the misinformation. This analysis suggests that there really is no silver bullet to kill 100% of all misinformation with one shot. The best you can do is to convince the people who are convincible and let those true believers go. Another finding was that people are most thoroughly convinced when they're not just told the correct information, but when they are included in the process of breaking down why the information is false. The researchers explained that that can be accomplished in part by outlets encouraging well-moderated discussions, which is a big old oh shit moment for everyone who thought that the answer to idiots in comment sections was just to turn off comments. Nope. It turns out that the comments really can help, so long as they are heavily moderated. The discussion's focus needs to be on the new, true information and not on the misinformation. You can't just have a bunch of conspiracy theorists screaming about crisis actors when you're trying to discuss why gun control is a necessary thing, for instance. In other words, this analysis shows that correcting misinformation is possible, but it's really, really hard, and it's a job that will never actually be completed. And after doing this job for over 10 years, I can't say I disagree.